Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today we're going to take a look at how they're going to fund Starship on Mars. Elon wants to build a pretty big community there on Mars, and that takes a lot of money. So we're going to take a look at some ideas that we've been told about, and possibly some ideas that they haven't even thought about. Stay tuned. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. Currently, SpaceX is launching 60 Starlink satellites per launch on their Falcon 9 rocket. Elon Musk said that Starlink will need at least 400 satellites in orbit for minimum broadband coverage, and another 400 satellites for a total of 800 for medium coverage. And for basic global coverage, you'd need a minimum of 12,000 satellites in orbit. Back in October of 2019, SpaceX requested approval for an additional 30,000 satellites. This would bring the total of Starlink satellites to 42,000 orbiting the Earth. Okay, so let's break this down. For minimum broadband coverage, that could be done in a total of seven launches from a Falcon 9 rocket. But remember, that's very basic coverage. Now another seven launches will give them a total of 800 satellites in orbit. That'll give a medium coverage. Both of these are very doable with a Falcon 9 rocket, and in which they are in the process of doing right now. With this week's launch, they should have a total of 240 satellites in orbit, minus a few that aren't functioning correctly. And this will put them only a little over halfway to the basic coverage point. According to Gwyn Shotwell, Starship should be able to carry a total of 400 plus satellites in one trip. If they could implement Starship for the balance of the Starlink satellites, they could do this in around 100 launches. Now if this was done with Falcon 9 rockets, it would take 690 plus launches for a total of $57 million per launch. $57 million each is what SpaceX says it costs them to launch a Falcon 9. Now let's just say because SpaceX is the launch provider and the manufacturer, they're kiting that price just a little bit. So let's say they're doing it for approximately $40 million each. That works out to a staggering $27,600,000,000 in total launch cost. So what happens when you throw Starship into the works. According to Elon, they're guesstimating a launch cost of Starship to be approximately $2 million each. I think that's a little bit on the low side. Let's just say for numbers sake, we double that number, $4 million per launch. With a total of 100 launches, that comes up to be $400 million. That's a real big difference from using Falcon 9 rockets. Even if they reduced the cost of Falcon 9s and the price of the Starships went up, they'd still save money. A lot of money. Once this mega constellation is up and running, what do they believe that the total profit on this type of industry will be? According to Forbes, they estimate Starlink's total gross revenue for one year to exceed $30 billion dollars as well as many other analysts have said it probably is closer to $50 billion per year. Right now, that's better than double NASA's annual budget. So, $30 to $50 billion per year. That's a lot of money and will go a long way to getting to Mars. The problem we have is he wants to build a civilization on Mars. That's going to take a lot more money than $50 billion a year. So what possibly could SpaceX do to generate more income? Stay with me on this one for just a moment. I'm not going off topic. 
Consider this for a possibility. What is one of the most watched and highest grossing TV shows watched today? It's called reality TV. People totally love the thought of watching what is happening in other people's lives. Just in the United States alone, we have these. From American Idol to Survivor to The Biggest Loser to the Top Chef, Top Model, Runway Casting, The Amazing Race, Dancing with the Stars. Like him or not, this one helped get a president elected. And it goes on and on. And I've just touched the surface. So what about this? SpaceX having a reality TV show by subscription only. It begins with the first starship going to Mars. This would be the unmanned starships. Then after that, they have the people going to Mars. Their day-to-day -day lives. The launch, the trip, the landing, after landing. You could just keep going. How many people do you think would subscribe to watch that? At a cost of 10 or $15 per month. This could go on on a daily basis for years and years. I'm sure there's some people out there that wouldn't subscribe, but not many. I know I'd definitely be one that would be signing up to watch. What about you? Say, just in the United States alone, there's a little over 327 million people. They say approximately 40% of those people actually watch a reality show. That's a total of 130,800,000 people watch reality shows. Not that this wouldn't be the most popular reality show in existence, but just say only 100 million people sign up for that. And remember, we're just talking about the U.S. only. So, we have 100 million people signing up for $15 a month. That's a total of, yes, even I can do that one in my head. We're looking at $1.5 billion per month. Yeah, that's $18 billion a year. What do you think the numbers on something like that would be worldwide? That would be one heck of a deal for SpaceX. And it may be somebody like, say, YouTube. Just a thought. Okay, so we have that idea. What other options would SpaceX have? How about Starlink Worldwide Satellite Phone Service at a fraction of the cost of the other guys? How about Starlink Premium Cable Service, which includes the Mars Reality Show? Or maybe home security and monitoring for as little as $9.99 a month. Or how about even smart home systems? Elon Security, this is Dave. Please unlock the door. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I guess some things never change. Okay, guys. What ideas do you have on what SpaceX could do to generate income? Or do you think that would be enough to do the job? Give me your thoughts down in the comments. Okay. These guys here are my patrons. I've actually been getting a lot of help from these guys over the last couple of weeks with some of these in-depth episodes. Thank you so much, guys. I have no words to describe how happy I am that you're part of the mob. And you, too, can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out down in the comments.
Hey Elon, don't forget, we have an open invitation for coffee. I think I might be able to help you out with some of these little money issues. And if you're having trouble getting a hold of me, remember, my email's down in the description.